Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring uh, a Lolan Raichu XL with XL Lolan Raichu stat product increases by quite a bit making a much more effective Pokemon. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. Going to be leading Swampert into Gavantula. This is an XL Gavantula and they're going into uh, Politoed. Politoed is very spammy. Actually opting for Thunder Punch instead of Wild Charge. Interesting. Thunder Punch and Psychic. Um, and then threatening the EQ. This is why they didn't throw it right away. They're probably going to Weather Ball. I have no idea what move that was, but that was probably a Weather Ball. This Weather Ball definitely will not KO. Uh, Lone Raichu is definitely a lot tankier in Ultra League. Oh my gosh, this thing's so spammy. Okay. Well, that's not good. Uh, I, I'm not... Thunder Punch, is Thunder Punch the right move? I don't know. It's hard to say. And then, I'm gonna throw the Psychic here. Let's see if this Gavantula will shield. No shield from the Gavantula. They're both throwing uh, uh, Volt Switches at each other. This is definitely gonna be a Lunge. Or a Discharge would KO as well, but a Lunge is super effective. And then here comes, <laughs> Oh man, okay. XL Skarmory versus XL Skarmory. I'm not entirely sure they can win this game down two shields. They're, they have energy on Swampert, no energy on Gavantula. Well, Swampert can beat Gavantula for sure, but this Skarmory, the opposing Skarmory is just not gonna shield at all. They're just gonna two shield Gavantula, right? So. Uh, if you can come out with energy on the Skarmory, that would be great. Uh, potentially Brave Bird next, because Clock is up. Let's see. Okay, they shield. Okay, makes sense. Oh, going to be able to farm down beforehand. Very nice. Going to throw this Hydro Cannon here, which will do quite a bit of damage. This is a Shadow Swampert. Um, they're almost in Brave Bird range. This is definitely not going to KO unless it's a Brave Bird, which, oh my gosh, would you have be an absolute madman to throw? What the heck? Or sh I should say, you'd have to be one Brave Bird uh, to throw a Brave Bird then. What? Why? Why? That was very confusing sequence of events like uh, honestly that game should have been a lot closer than it should have been um but it's all good okay very favorable lead Ooh, okay uh here comes that is not good switching it so late because they're just gonna octazooka here it's almost certainly an octazooka yeah. Ooh, attack fell. So I don't expect a shield to come up. Nope, that is quite bad. Could go for the psychic. I like this play here, if the lag would let it. Because um, the psychic does quite a bit more damage. They're very nice, very nice, very nice. Able to maintain the switch. Imagine the zone. Oh my, a swamp are going to come back in. That is not good. Uh, but gonna be able to get the psychic off. I like this play by the opponent. And gonna be able to chip a decent amount off there. Very nice. Um, you don't, I guess you just save all the shields for, uh, you just have to be careful of the sack. Okay. Just gonna throw, makes sense. They have to shield this, right? They, they just have to. No shield again. You save all the shields for Swampert. Uh, gonna be, end up in a kind of tricky situation. Okay, very nice, let it go. And then, ooh, that's okay though. Like, I think switching out here is actually a mistake. Uh, Cause they're not gonna shield and they're just gonna go for the farm down. Yeah. And then end up with like almost two hydro cannons. Get a wild charge here. Yeah, it makes sense. 
and they are only one uh, i probably would have did the mud shot there because you're not at two anyways but this game's over anyways so and it's gonna be gg i'm not really sh too sure what they could have done there um but definitely f they had a little bit of residual energy um catching the move i guess they had to at some point in time um pretty tricky situation once they one switch okay another favorable lead uh but gengar can definitely put on quite a bit of damage here gonna cmp tie i like this play here shield here they're definitely gonna shadow punch right so and then they're just gonna straight shadow punch because this swamp bird is taking quite a bit of damage oh they're not gonna shadow punch interesting um no shield this yeah and then they're gonna be able to oh very nice switch into lapras but that's okay can switch out into raichu they are at a punch you take this for sure um Build up to two. I don't know if a Thunder Punch will KO. Um, they'll get another move off by the time they throw this next Volt Switch, though, right? So. Ooh, the Gengar didn't have a move. Interesting. Maybe they're one short of the move. Oh, man. Crustle. Okay. This is okay, though. Are we taking neutral? They're both throwing neutral at each other. Uh, doesn't need to shield this, uh, though this is likely a rock slide. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter too much. Gonna be able to Brave Bird here. This is gonna hit for neutral damage. Does this KO? Probably. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be GG. I guess it's like um, each air slash is like uh, nine damage, right? And then nine times okay this is a good lead they go into oh my goodness well they'll, they'll have to sh oh, man the problem is you have, to sh you have to shield though you don't have to shield i don't think but you kind of need to shield to maintain the switch right yeah that's quite bad that's actually really not that good for them gonna throw the I on it, honestly, it was definitely an Aqua Tail, right? Well, I think it was an Aqua Tail. It should have been an Aqua Tail if they switched out fast enough. And they are doing quite a bit of damage with these Psychics, um, which is pretty good. But now they're two away from an Earthquake. If they was presuming they went to 100. This is a Rock Slide for sure. Interesting they decide to throw the Rock Slide. Does like almost no damage. And then here comes Clefable. And then there goes Clefable. I guess a little bit, I don't know. I was thinking of a clever pun there, but I just, just couldn't think of anything. All right, another favorable lead here. Um, kind of have to stay here, at least a little bit. Zone is quite bad for their team in the back. Well, it's not terrible for, okay, I like this play. Definitely can tank one. Um, I'm not sure they can tank two. No, oh, they can definitely tank two. Yeah, this should be no problem. You definitely let it go. I would undercharge this if I was a Swamp Bird. Okay. Or not. And then you just Brave Bird. Just give them the least farm possible. Um, you definitely have to wait the clock out. Though. Oh my gosh. Okay. Isn't there a desync in the clock though still? I think the Magnazone could have left though. I guess they want to potentially refarm, but yeah, this is very favorable for a Raichu. They throw the cross shot. Um, definitely want to throw before they get to another cross shot because these counters are certainly adding up. Looks like they're not throwing the cross shot there. 
gonna throw another thunder punch and I think he just let it go maybe yeah let it go they, they have to throw again okay um, definitely the right call and then switch out and they decide to leave the match all right we are in the zone we're taking out zones. One, one of the, one of the two. This person apparently went up like uh, four hundred points in like what they say. Let me see what they said. Let me see what they said while they try to catch this Vulpix. I'm not sure why I didn't edit out this catching a Vulpix, but okay, nice thirty-two thirty. Okay, what they say? Oh, they said. Uh, went up, went, oh, no. Uh, where is this? Okay, I can't find it, but that's okay. They said, I think they went up like 400 points. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it's right here. It's actually right here. So they went up, oh no, they went up 270 points in just five sets. Uh, best buddy, Skarmory. Okay, all right. Shadow Swampert looking really nice here. I guess it would, um, Venusaur lead obviously would be kind of tricky. Deal with, that's why they're carrying Psychic. Okay, this is looking pretty good. maintaining the switch is really nice here oh oh my gosh an excel scrafty okay this power up punch i'm not confident that uh scrafty can oh, let's see here i know scrafty can two shield power up punch its way through um ultra league but i think that's not possible in Let's see here. In Ultra League, because type effectiveness is... Oh, they can. They can just straight pop and win uh, the two shield. But they get put pretty low. Ooh, very nice. Got a Thunder Punch here. Oh, weak connection. All right. They survive with very little health left. Okay. Oh man, they have two shields still and lots of lag. Well, that's not pleasant. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, well, looks like their lag has gone away. Pretty good. And then couldn't be able to take out this Scrafty. All right. That was quite a Scrafty move to turn off, to go to airplane mode. Did I put these battles out of order? I, I definitely put these battles out of order. That's okay. All good. All good. Um, Swampert into Toxtro. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not sure the sludge wave was totally necessary, but. I'm not sure it's going to help with the farm down. Yeah. I think it was a slight mistake. Ooh, okay. They're going to CMP tie here to the surf. They might shield this, actually, to be honest, to get the surf off. Nope, okay, they don't. They don't have a move late yet on Toxicro, but they're okay, gonna throw the Psychic here. I like this play. Stab Psychic, it's gonna do a lot more damage. Ooh, very nice. I would just, okay, okay, yeah, this is good. I'd say you could just go to Skarmory here. Um, to Skarmory beats both. But this is okay too. Um, 
the psychic was really nice there. Gonna be able to outpace this Snorlax here. And then just force this Toxic Road to throw. There's no way they farm down. Very nice counting by the opponent. But this game's over, right? Like, unless they're carrying Dynamic Punch, which is just no way they're carrying Dynamic Punch. Just no way. Okay, the Mud Bomb. And that Air Slash should have KO, will KO the Toxic Rope. And then just the two shields are completely useless to use. All right, we're on to this next game. Uh, okay, this is a okay lead. A little bit better, okay. Take one. This will do quite a bit of damage. And they go to double. I think, I imagine Shadow Swampert wins all even shields with, uh... ooh, Venusaur is definitely one of the worst Pokemon to deal with. I think you just take it. Should be able to survive. Make it to the Psychic. Mostly just stall clock. Yeah, you wait the clock out fully here. They're definitely gonna build to the frenzy. Oh my gosh, they are double weak to you definitely just sacks you just sack you just sack Swamper at this point in time, right? You just sack it. Yeah, this, man, Swamper is completely useless here. I think you just uh no shield. Uh you have to shield the close combat though. Yeah, you shield the close combat, yeah, yeah. They baited. Why don't you just take it out? What's the Venusaur gonna do to you? Bright bird here? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I guess these these uh, frenzies kinda add up, but they only had one frenzy. Ah, right to make sense. It's the right play. I like that play. Yeah, Venusaur switch in was probably gonna be the worst, so I must I'm trying to say stayed then. Let's switch out here. I have to be careful of the Ooh, okay. That's really not good. That's really quite bad. But maybe they're double weak to uh maybe get a shield here. Gonna fall one Volt Switch short of another Thunder Punch. Um, not that that would have drawn a shield anyways. Um, maybe they only have, um, yeah, maybe they're double weak. Let's see, let's see. You definitely wanna build up to grab a second shield, right? Just take it. Maybe could grab two shields. Okay, nice. This is actually pretty good. Grab the shield here. Can the Swampert survive? I think the Swampert could survive the counters. Okay. Okay, they go into their Scarm. I think this is actually a winnable game. Yeah, totally. Totally win weird back line. Honestly, weird back line. I guess double weak charm. You just sack Surfetch. Okay, interesting. Got a Bray Bird here. I like this Bray Bird. Okay. Ooh, okay. Nice, no shield. I think you shield this, right? Everything from 
close combat, right? Yeah, everything from the opposing ceremony is resisted. And they need to throw a sky attack and a brave bird to KO. Ooh, gonna be a very close game here. Okay, I'm. Oh man, that was super close game. Really well played. Uh, obviously, the Omrion obviously made I think a mistake in my opinion, but really well played game. All right, going to this next match, we're going Swampert into Machamp. So. Obviously, Machamp can win this in the two shield. Maybe try to catch the cross chop on Raichu. Okay, nope, that definitely did not work. Gonna, oh, this is one shot though. Kind of have to shield this though. Okay, they go into Snorlax, which is really not good. This, this Psychic does quite a bit of damage as we saw last time. Okay, they don't throw, so they're gonna have to shield here. But you can just go into Skarmory and soak up all this damage. Because the worst they can do is hit for neutral. You have to go Skarmory here. They throw Blind Body Slam. Hmm. Hmm. Weird call. Yeah, I like this play here. And then you just sack. You just sack a uh, swamper. Okay. Surf KO. Does. It's gonna be a really close game. I this they should actually switch out here, right? Yeah, it's a mistake staying in with. I don't know why they stayed in with the Lapras there to get farmed. Oh man, ridiculously close game there. I don't know why they didn't switch in Machamp at some point in time. It's not like the Machamp could get Air Slash down, and it would deal almost the same amount of damage as the Air Slashes. So, uh, but well played, really well played, fantastic team, uh, really, obviously Venus or Lee would be really tough, I'd love to see how they play that, but I think it's a really strong team, anyways, I'm going to leave it there, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.